And I thought, I still thought that if you like books, you'd like working with them. The way, the way you sometimes think, if you like poetry, you'd enjoy teaching it. But, but I don't believe that anymore. And so I got the job at the library, and, and I shelved books there. And for about a year, I, I was really hot on it. I really thought that I was doing something. And, and, and shelving books in the library is about as silly as you can get, but, but, but I believed in getting books to the people through, through some kind of system or other. I, I worked fantastically hard, I, except for the various days when I would get so sick that, that I wouldn't come into work. And, and there were the odd weeks when, when I worked only two days and, and, and thought of grand structures of excuses and so on. And so I, I wanted to work until I was full of sweat when I came, quotes, home at night. I, I wanted to work so hard that, that people I didn't like would approve of me. I wanted to work so hard that, that I could maybe finally, consciously ad admit the disgust that I, I did feel for this kind of life, you know? Like, th there is a day, and, and there's three trucks there when, when, I, when I get there in the morning, and, and I am shelving trucks. I, I am shelving these books off the trucks uh, onto the shelves, and if I do this slowly, the trucks are going to pile up in the workroom. And, and then I am going to have a nightmare that night. And it's going to be just trucks, truckloads of books on, on my head. Like, it's an absurd thing to shelve books in a library. Like, like it's absurd to be, to be a social worker. So, you've got these problems. So maybe what you do is you pick the most absurd extremity that, that you can find to work these out, you know, so that eventually you, you can be an artist with, without guilt is probably the whole thing. E eventually you, you can be an artist without 30 truckloads of, of books of the Vancouver Public Library in your nightmares every night. <laughs>